Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles, as they take a closer look at the Skeeter SX230. Representing the 17 to 24 foot class of the bay boat category, the Skeeter XS230 has an overall length of 23 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 2 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 250. Designed with shallow water anglers in mind, she has a draft of 10 inches, a dry weight of 2,875 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 59 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. The boat we're standing on today, Rick, Skeeter's SX230 is a straight up bay boat. The 23 foot footprint works perfectly for a bay boat, still gets very, very shallow, can handle the choppy water, Let's perfect the 23 before we start thinking 26 towers, outriggers, all nine yards. Exactly, they're sticking to the original intention of the boat, okay? This boat will float in 10 inches of water. You can fish in shallow water. We were in very skinny water in this boat today. There's a bunch of fishing oriented features on this boat. Why don't we take a look at some of them? George, you don't have to go far. The first bay boat I ever stepped on, I stepped back and kept right on going. They've got this <laughs> recessed deck right where it needs to be. This is thinking about people that want to fish. This is a big deck, very comfortable to walk around on. And you know, like you said, you're not going to walk off the edge of it if there are three people on the boat. Nope, and you got that step up, which I can't live without. We all know. Each of these boxes that we're standing on are, the, are lined with a roto molded plastic liner. I mean, you're familiar with the roto molded sure, plastic. Sure, it's what yeah. they make high performance coolers. Yeah, out. exactly. It's very durable there. It's a smart idea. You've got lockable rod storage on one side, you've got a kill box on the other. It's, it's designed to stay on the trailer with your rods in the boxes and not have to worry about it. Yeah, nice insulated fish box. You've got a really big storage compartment here. There's your anchor locker, of course, and another wet storage compartment on the deck right there. There's tons of room to put a lot of fishing gear in this boat. Let me tell you something else that led to the evolution of bay boats. Okay, the increase in technology for trolling motors. You realize how much more powerful they are than they ever were before? The features like spot lock and things like that, of course you're going to have one on your Skeeter. Not only so you can work along a bank, but if you do take that trip off the beach, you pull up on a little wreck with bait on it, just push the button, baby. I want to point out you've got a live well under the seat right here, which is also insulated and doubles as a drink cooler. There's access in the backrest there to get into the forward part of the console, so you can reach into the console from the front or from the back. Let's move back here and take a look at what's going on underneath this shade top. All right, T-Tops. Listen, if this boat didn't have <laughs> one other thing on it, the fact that it's got shade over me right now, it's a winner. I love hey, it. Hey, we talked about how serious this fishing boat is, and it certainly is, but nothing wrong with plush seating. This one certainly got it. Yeah, you know, I was talking about the comfort features like these padded seats and backrests and put your feet up and stuff. You know, there's no reason why you can't be comfortable when you're going to and from the grounds, and this seating certainly accomplishes that task nicely. You know what, but this is a must have rod storage behind the t-top how many rods can you put there that you would have no other place for without a t-top absolutely six extra ones there and on the console four and four on either side put them right through the top you know if you've got a bunch of gear to carry out there you can get it out of the way on this design okay i said there was a couple of live wells i lied there's three as i said in the front we got a 15 gallon live well under the seat and this 45 they also put a 30 gallon release well right here in the center seat between this 45, this 30, and that 15, I think you're pretty covered on this boat. But George, back to the creature comforts a little bit. Now this is perfect for casting off of. I've got two little grandsons who wanna be with me all the time when I'm on the water. These two flip up seats, you flip them up, it's the safest place for them to ride, that's where they're gonna be. Underneath them, more storage. You got a storage tray underneath there. You've also got two really nice, really roomy, dry storage compartments in each corner there, one in each corner. If you're looking for a boat that has the hardcore bay boat heritage fishing features you want, but just the right amount of comfort to make the trip nice, the Skeeter SX230 is one you need to see.